Welcome back, everyone. Hopefully you had a good uh, Father's Day weekend. Went to the ball game. We won. Alrighty, so I'll show you what I've been up to here recently, guys. So as you can tell from my inventory, I've been working on a creeper farm. And... Oop. Uh oh. Oh boy. There we go. And uh, the one thing I forgot to do is cap it off. So it's not that big. It's only like four levels bit deep. I could add another level here, but uh, for now we're just going to cap it off. Mostly so we don't get any other uh, mobs to spawn here. And if we fall in, we got plenty of rockets here. Alrighty. But yeah, so um, I think <clears throat> we're nearing an end of this Let's Play. And we're going to be starting a new Let's Play here. Uh, we're actually going to have two different series, I think, going on. Um, it's going to be a lot of work on my behalf. So please be patient if something doesn't look right. Just let me know in the comments uh, what you th guys think. And I'll try to... Um, you know, make sure we're getting everyone's needs met here. I mean, you guys are important. So, um, while this is going on, I'm just going to kind of cap, like I said, cap this off here. Try not to fall in these holes here. There we go. We can build a couple, little bit faster here. And then uh, once we've got this, uh, we'll go ahead and... Do we have any more buttons? We have a couple more trapdoors. We might have to gather a little, couple more trapdoors. And I mean, a, quite a few more trapdoors. But uh, that's alright. It's pretty much done. There we go. Just kind of building a nice little uh, cap over our thing here. There we go. It's a nice and chill day today. About to take a nap here once we get finished with this little top half here. Or we can actually go AFK and we'll see how it does. I mean, it won't be perfect because we don't have this uh, completely topped off. Sorry if it's kind of hard to see for everyone, but got to do what we got to do. There we go. Cap that off. I think I got a couple more. Yep, got a couple more. Perfect. Alrighty, and then um, might as well use up. Oh, got some more buttons. Perfect. That'll prevent those spiders from spawning. Alrighty, once we get these in place, we'll fly away here and observe what we've done here. Because I've done quite a lot of work, everyone. Well, everyone got to enjoy their Father's Day. I was hard at work. And we're going to show for it here. There we go. So, this basic, these buttons are preventing any spiders from spawning and clogging it up. And then, because if the spiders are in there, they will prevent anything else from getting inside here. There we go. And we might as well use up the slit these um that we have here. These will go quick. There we go. And these are the only thing that are preventing um, skeletons and stuff and all that from spawning. 
So this will help us with our spawn rates of the good, good creeper juice that we need here. We've got gunpowder for days here already. And then, um, while this farm's cranking away, I'll show you what we've all done so far. We're not quite done with this uh, Let's Play. We've probably got about three more episodes, but you got to remember... We are in 1.20 now, so it is going to be a little bit different. We might do some more exploring uh, with a sniffer or something in that nature. Alrighty. So. Yeah, fell in a hole. And away we go. Alrighty, so this is my little box here. We don't have any lights. We should get more lights. But, um, so we've got our village over there. Over there is where we fought the wither. And then, so we've got our village. And as you can tell, we've been, I've been doing quite a lot of work here. Alrighty, so I added a little water elevator. And we've got lots of trees. We've been moving and removing trees and lighting up the area. And we updated our board here. So we've got Make a Villager Trading Hall, which we're going to be doing under there. Um, defeat the Water Temple and get Sponge. We almost forgot about that. We'll actually have to do that at the next episode, possibly. Uh, make an Iron Farm. That'll actually be part of the Villager Trading Hall, I think. Make a full beacon. Well, we're getting close to a full beacon here. I think I found the cheapest method for um, building. Whoop. Whoa, hello, hello there. Whoa, shoot. Well, I should have paid attention more. Huh. Alrighty, well. That just goes to show us that we need to pay attention more. That's alright. We'll take a nap and then we'll grab our items here. Death by Skeleton. Gotta love it. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, hi there, Creeper. Alrighty, where is our wings? There we go. Don't have a helmet anymore. We're going to have to work on our equipment, I think, today. That's what I think our goal will be. All we were trying to do is place a couple blocks. And here we are, guys. So this is what we've got going on so far. So for our full beacon... We're going to have it outlaid like this. Should look pretty nice, actually. And then, um... So, now that it's daytime and we've slept, let's take some... Ro Oop, wrong pocket. Go take a look at our farm here and see how it's producing. I think I'm going to make that platform on the top a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll add another farm up there. I think this will be the industrial area. And let's see how it's producing. It is producing. So yeah, we've got bones and arrows and rotten flesh, so we're getting all the other spawns that we didn't want. But I mean, I guess for now they're useful. The most important thing that we came here for is gunpowder, which we finally have. We have actually an ample supply of it. Oh, we're still getting more. So it's even producing during the day, which is useful. Alrighty. And then, as you can tell, we've got plenty of blocks to build with still over here. I did bring a bunch of wool for our trading farm here. Um, I think we're going to place the beds in this area here. I don't know. I was going to place them up here, but I feel like if they fall in there, they're going to... They're going to get in there. They might not, but they, they're... Yeah, they're going to teleport right on top, and then they're going to end up dead. 
So we're gonna get rid of this. It was a good idea, but that doesn't work for 1.20 anymore. For an iron farm trading hall. But we'll get it to work right. We'll find something that works for us. I think for now we're just going to put a bunch of beds in here. And then we'll put the villagers job block right next to their beds. Just kind of a massive little area that they can spawn. And if they spawn some... Uh, if I, I believe if I place the block... If I replace majority of these blocks with... Um, Let's see here, do I have some in here? I do not. Leaves. Nothing can spawn, but it can spawn up there, so you're just changing the spawn mechanics to go up there versus on here. So we'll give that a try. I'll give it a let's play try. But yeah, so then we've got the gunpowder finally. We've got a farm for that. And we've also gotten to light up a pretty decent chunk of our area over here so we flattened out well we got to finish this but we flattened out all the all the stuff over here we moved our uh, bamboo farm over here because it's 1.20 and we have a really good use for bamboo now it actually kind of looks nice from over here it looks o ominous -ing. Ooh, should make another build like that then yeah so we've got our uh Farm that produces good good wool. We've knocked out a big portion of this wall. Um, the biggest part is we added this rail, so once we do get our villagers, we can send uh, one or two of them in, in over here, and then they can reproduce like crazy. And I'm going to use these villagers over here, actually, because I, uh, I learned that, well, with, with one of the new updates... Not sure which update, but one of these new updates mean, means that they actually require uh, beds. Yep, you need to see those little particles. Or you won't be able to get them to regen their trades. Um, back when I first started playing, all you needed was their job block and bedrock. But we'll give it a try. We'll place our beds here and Well, we're gonna place our beds actually over in our area over there. This little spawn. We should get some uh concrete going since we have so much sand. We should see uh see if we have any gravel and any plants that might have color. Let's see here. Well yeah, we've got tons of that. So we can get red from redstone. So maybe red and white or yellow. Let's see here. What what what, what dye would we get? I think we just gotta make some yellow dye. We need a yellow flower and some dirt. You can't really bone mill dirt. Gotta bone mill the I have more over there. We'll go over there. But yeah, we can get a red dye over here. Nope, we can't make red dye anymore out of that. Oh. Well, what fun is that? You would think you could make red dye out of that. Okay. What have we got in here? See, you can make blue dye out of blue lapis. You'd think you could make red dye out of redstone dust. Well, I guess that's all. There's the leaves that we're going to need. Okay, so... Yellow. We're going to need some bones. Oh, we got plenty of bones. Okay, so let's go uh, bone mill some flowers for ourselves. Can we bone... Eh, no, we'll bone mill over here. There we go. There we go. It's a nice little area. Oops. Hopefully we can get some flowers. 
not expecting anything crazy, just some flowers. Yep, those ones. We got our yellow. Alrighty, so now if I knock that now I just I, I I got enough yellow now I just need one of the something white. I might have to change the biome. Yeah. Oh, there's red. Let's see here. If I bone mill the red one, will I get white? Nope. Well, we got yellow. Hmm. Well, I guess we can use our bone dye for our white. Unless that turns a gray. White dye. There we go. Perfect. We're getting somewhere, guys. There we are. And gravel. Do we have any gravel? We have a little bit. Don't need a ton. Probably gonna need more than that, but... It's a good start. So our little industrial district can start to be marked off. Do, 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 do. Just for the stuff that we need. I don't think it'll have to be too crazy. Let's see here. We'll do 250? Yeah, 250. There we go. And then we'll have to change that. There we go. Let's see how this looks. Ooh. I think this will be our screenshot, everyone. Or should I take it from this side? Yeah, I think I'm going to take it from over here. We need a good screenshot. Good screenshots. I think that's a pretty good one. Let's see if I can take a quick one with you guys. There we go. Well, there we go. And now, so we don't really need that. Looks like we got some lava over there. Is that an ocean rune? What is this over here? It's really bright, right on the surface. Oh, just sea pickles. Some really, uh, really bright sea pickles here.
Whee! It feels so good to have wings. And we got plenty of flight. Alrighty guys, so let's go work on our uh, equipment here. We only have four levels. I think we should, uh, let's see here. So we've got our pickaxe and all that. What do we've got up here for armor? We've got a helmet with blast protection. We, uh, there's the Aqua Infinity. How much would it cost to put that on there? That'll work. Alright, we finally got a better helmet. Blast protection. We actually lost our protection uh, villager and haven't been able to get a new one. So hopefully with our new village we'll be uh, able to take care of that, guys. Alrighty. So we've got some slightly better armor to work with for the future. And I'll be right back guys and I'll uh, update you on the new subs, show you what we got for new subscribers this week and um, let's see how our other farms are producing here. It's working. So we're going to do some off camera stuff, get some more resources and I'll come back to you. Alrighty, looks like we're back here everyone, and I got an update for you guys. I've got my full beacon, and it's all its glory, doing haste too. So next time you come on over, you might not see a lot of the surrounding area. So we can get rid of, make a full beacon, and we've gotten already rid of that one here. And let's take a look at our new subscribers. Thank you, uh, Boris the Destroyer of the Pangea, of Pangea, and Ryder Cosgrove. Thank you guys for your public subscriptions. And until the next episode, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, uh, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. You can see more content like that. And you'll uh, get to see some new series that I've got coming up in the works here. Please be patient, and I'll see you in the next video. Just a little bonus clip for you guys that didn't get to see my finished creeper farm. And it's all buttoned up top, as you can see. And we'll see you next time.